Your mind is limitless. The possibilities are endless. Awaken Your Mind Magic shows you how you can dream limitlessly and live your life on a new level. Susan Kathleen speaks with ordinary people who are living extraordinary lives using the power of their minds. Abundance, prosperity, and success. There are no limits to what you can dream. Join Susan Kathleen on a journey into your dreams, making a difference and living life on your own terms. This is Awaken Your Mind Magic. Hello and welcome everyone. My guest speaker today is Rocky Krogfoss, who's been my mentor and teacher for the past six months in the science of quantum emotional healing. He's not only a gifted healer and teacher, he's my very dear and good friend. Rocky studied quantum physics, biophysics, epigenetics, and conscious energy science for more than 20 years. And he has the wisdom to explain how a thought wave energy field becomes your physical reality scientifically and spiritually through the law of attraction. Rocky works with women mostly to release chronic pain, mental health, domestic abuse, trauma, and relationship drama. All healing is done by Rocky without drugs, machines, health products, or physical touching. And he's mastered the technique to facilitate healing anywhere in the planet using Zoom video conferencing technology. Just to let you know, Rocky helps women awaken to their magnetic goddess self by healing beliefs of struggle and expectation. So welcome, Rocky. It's so good to have you here. Hello. Hello. I'm so excited to share this information with your listeners and then teach people the most advanced science and healing processes spiritually, medically on the planet. On the planet, explain, tell us about yourself. How did you get to such an amazing place? Well, let's start with my childhood. Let's go through the whole thing. Way back in 1966, about 200 million years ago, um, I, I was only 10 years old, and I was the oldest of five boys. My mom and dad had split up when I was 10, and literally overnight, I became the beaten mother, so to speak. I was now in charge of raising three babies. My brother, who was a year younger than me, nine-year-old, and I was 10, all of a sudden became responsible for all the cooking, all the cleaning, paying all the bills, buying all the groceries, and living with a man, a father, who was insanely violent, mean, and awful. Um, So this was my childhood. It was 24-7 hell, and it led to me being quite an angry young man um, in my 20s and 30s. I was a very, very good athlete. I played a lot of sports, and I played them at high levels. But I wasn't a very nice person on the soccer field, on the ice sheets, in the tennis courts, and even in baseball, I was not a nice person. So um, I developed um, a lot of, um, how can I say this? Um, I had a lot of anger against the world for not helping me when I was a little boy. That's the way it was explained to me from my spirit guides. And so I... Went through this. I got married. I had a, had a child who's the most beautiful indigo, crystalline indigo child on the planet. I love her dearly. And um, when she was only two, the marriage had ended. And um, it was not sh- not long after that that I literally had an experience where one day I was just the same old, same old Rocky, just kind of a gruntuitous monkey dragging his knuckles along the planet. And the <laughs> next day, the bottom opened up and I fell into this hole called hell. Um, Very, very dark place, very severe depression, severe anxiety, paranoia, and chronic pain. 
It's, it's, it's literally like somebody pulled a switch and I fell into this hole. And it was an ugly, ugly, ugly place. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I really do understand when somebody says to me, there was times when I just wanted to leave this planet. I say, yeah, I understand what that feels like. So as I sat on my bed one day and after I'd taken pills from the doctor, which we all know are absolutely useless, they heal nothing. If you ever go and see a doctor for anything, please don't take pills unless you absolutely have to. It's a waste of time. And I sat on my bed one day and I said some words that just came out of my mouth that my father would have turned over in his grave if he'd heard I'd said them. And I said the words, oh my God, I need help. And three weeks later, a woman showed up in my life who is probably the most gifted channeler I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen many good ones. Lee Carroll, who channels Cryon. Esther Hicks, who channels Abraham, and many other great ones. And this lady, whose name is Linda Nardelli, um, is an extraordinary skill. And um, she began helping me for years, almost 12 years, and well over 500 hours of helping me take the layers of unworthiness, pain, resentment, anger, and everything. So I learned how to do this work that I do now with on-the-job training, so to speak. It was in 2006 when a new voice came through, and it turned out to be my, one of my spirit guides, and he introduced himself as Seth. And Seth is a very famous, um, well-known spirit guide angel who channeled through a woman named Jane Roberts in the 60s, 70s, and 80s before she died and did a series of books called Seth Speaks. Now, Seth came through to me, and I nearly fell off my chair because I couldn't believe Seth was actually talking to me. I'm just Rocky. You know, who, who? why are you here with me? And he said, please be quiet, Rocky. We have many things to say. We don't have much time. You have a lot of work to do. Let me tell you who you are and why you're here. So I listened, and he started to tell me about a healing gift that I have that I brought with me onto this planet. I don't have to sort of, you know, turn it off and on and, you know, sort of make it work. It, it just works. But he explained to me how it works. And, of course, in 2006, I wasn't nearly as evolved or as educated as I am now. So I just looked at him. I went, what are you talking about, you know? And he said, you in the past, you've healed pain. You didn't even know you were doing it. And he gave me an example of um, – of a union convention that I was part of maybe 10 years earlier where a woman had a serious migraine headache and she was a very gentle soul. And there was a very ugly union convention. There was a very politically antagonistic situation and she wasn't a fighter and she was sitting there suffering with pain. And I just came over to her and I put my hands on her shoulder. I put my fingers into her muscle and I just started moving it around nice and gentle. And then 20 minutes later, after I had already given up, <laughs> I said, how's your headache? She said, still there. How's your headache? Still there. And I said, well, maybe it'll get better. You know, I'll just go and sit down again. And five minutes after that, she goes, oh, oh, my pain is gone. I said, really? She said, yeah, no, my pain's completely gone. And I said, that's great. And so um, she said she had a cold sweat and she was a little bit dizzy as soon as the pain left. So I was walking around the room going, Rocky's got the hands, Rocky's got the hands, I'm the man, I'm the man. And um, I was joking around because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> and um, he pointed that out to me and said, you did that with your gift. You gave her uh, a loving space and you helped her heal her pain because that's what you're here to do. What you did afterwards was ego and it was just about made me throw up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit guide. <laughs> so you need to stop that. So, um, so I he he challenged me to uh, go out into the world and start studying energy as part of my training for who he said I'm going to become. Of course, I didn't know anything back then of who I was going to become. And I was an electrician at the time, so I understood electrical energy. But he said, no, it's not that kind of energy. And I said, well, what kind are you talking about? He says, you'll figure it out. And from there, I stepped out into the world. And in the next month, four women just showed up in my life who had severe migraine headaches. Every one of them had had a migraine headache for well over two or three days. And they looked like they'd been in the, the ring with Muhammad Ali. They looked like they were beat up. And every one of them, I was able to put my hands on their shoulders. I did not know what it's, I did not have any training. I did not have any process. I just put my hands on their shoulders and every one of them, their headaches disappeared in 20 minutes. Just gone. Same symptoms, dizziness and a cold sweat. 
So I, that really made me think that when the fourth one happened, I just sort of went, well, you know, there's something going on here. I really got to take this serious here. So I began studying energy, and that's when I sort of stumbled across quantum physics, biophysics, epigenetics, neuroplasticity, conscious energy research, and DNA frequency. I've studied that now for well over uh, 15 years, and I've put into place a process that helps people understand how a thought wave energy field, how every thought becomes a thought wave energy field, and how that manifests into your perception of your physical reality. Now, if you're a creator being, which you are, you are a creator being, everything that happens in your life, you create. Whether you're mixed in with people or not, you're still creating it. Now, if we can create our reality, we can change it. And that's where the epiphany started coming to me. I said, well, if this person is in a relationship that's violent, then we should be able to change that reality. How do we do that? Well, we change that by working with what we call emotional information, which out in the other world is called emotional intelligence. I call it emotional information or core belief programming. Now, this core belief programming that's inside your body has a frequency. Now, that frequency is directly proportional to the type of information you have in your DNA. If you grew up in a family like I did, where you were scared to death every day and you were you you didn't believe you were worth anything, you, you were just a piece of horse droppings, and that's what I believed I was worth back then, that was what my frequency was. And that's what I was putting out to the world. And that's why when I was a young man, everywhere I went, I was in conflict. I was attracting bullies. I was attracting idiots. I was attracting war. I was attracting fights all the time. And so um, I started to learn how when you use that magical energy that we all think we understand, but we know nothing about it, called love, we just think, well, you know, I'll just love myself. No, it doesn't work that way. There's a lot of work involved in loving yourself because you've got a lot of programming in you right now called unworthiness, fear, and limitation. In fact, Stanford University did a study on this, and they discovered that 80% of your belief systems have unworthiness, fear, and limitation, and 20% have love. So you've got 80% and 20%. If you've got 80% of your programs creating low, what I call low frequency realities, it's no wonder we struggle to be successful. It's no wonder we struggle to find relationships that are happy. It's no wonder we struggle with money. No wonder. No wonder we struggle with health. The only thing stopping you from being 100% magnificent in, in, in creating what you want is your limiting beliefs and your unworthiness and your fear. My job as a, okay, as, as a quantum healer, is to to shift and change that. So, you have a question for me? Yeah, Rocky. You know, I'm when you were training me in in the, this medium that you teach and train very um, fortunate people who encounter you and just and through the law of attraction come to you to learn. One of the things that you taught me was to have the self-belief as a, a divine goddess, this person who has the ability to heal and um, mend so many people. But before I could do that, I had to mend myself. Right. So what you were saying earlier on about having the self-love first is highly important because without those frequencies, as you say, you cannot change the direction of your life, can you? Not a chance. In fact, the law of attraction, the first, there's a couple of principles about a law of attraction that people absolutely do not understand. The first one is the law of attraction isn't a switch you turn on or off. It's running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The reality that you and I are in right now on this radio show is something we created through the law of attraction. Now, if you want to change an outcome in your life that, you know, that is you're using the law of attraction to create it in the first place, 
in order to change an outcome in life, you need to change the frequency that created that, the informational frequency that created that reality. And that's my job is to discover what that information is. A lot of times it's unworthiness. Um, sometimes it's abandonment when you're a child. Sometimes it's abuse. Sometimes it's sexual abuse. Uh, I mean, it could be a million things. Anger, resentment, guilt, shame, abandonment, loneliness. So we go into those frequencies my job is to guide you to a subconscious mind. Notice I said subconscious mind, not brain. Your brain is a useless, useless, useless tool for healing anything. It never heals anything. So I just, I think I made that clear. <laughs> it's the subconscious mind that creates your reality. It's a subconscious mind that is the hard drive of your laptop computer, which is called your body. Now, the information in your hard drive if it has viruses, just like a laptop, the laptop's not going to work that well. Every human has what I call Windows 98 operating in it. A lot of old programming that is out of date, full of viruses, crashes a lot, and that's how humans are existing right now. I'm welcome them, welcoming them to a new program called Windows 2020 where you're operating on self-love a lot more than before. You're giving yourself credit for being an amazing being. And in the case of women, we're inviting them to take the goddess and lift her out of the prison that most women have been in on this planet for thousands of years. And when the goddess is free from the prison, the goddess can create anything because there's nothing limiting her anymore. And when she believes that, there's nothing stopping a woman from creating absolutely anything she wants, living the life that she wants, living in a frequency where she's safe all the time, where she can t put, take her thoughts, her heart energy, and her thoughts, and her feelings, and her beliefs, and turn them into an energy field that turns into whatever it is she wants to do. Success, write a book, meet a, meet a, meet a man in a relationship, uh, meet a, a partner in a relationship, uh, create business success, Whatever it is you're longing to help people, whatever you want to do, this is where this is where the energy comes from in the first place, but it has to be real. It cannot be affirmations or motivational speaking because those two have zero impact on your reality. It has to be from an intention. An intention is different than a thought. An intention comes from your divine heart energy of your longing to create what you believe you're worthy of. The believe you're worthy of is where we get stuck. That's where the, the train track switches to not good enough, good enough, not good enough, good enough. So we work on the beliefs to make sure that that longing gets filled out and sends out a signal where you actually manifest what you want, not what you don't want. That's fasc that's fascinating. So, in other words, this is where you you awaken your mind magic, and you become limitless. You realize that you have this ability to do anything that you choose to do. Um, and there's another thing I was going to um, um, ask you, and you could share this with with um, with the listeners. Is there's the law of doing good. And there's a law of doing things that aren't so good. How does that work in the sort of divine um, goddess yeah. opportunity of being yourself? Well, there's a simple way of looking at that. And um, I remember going through this when I was doing my healing work with the spirit guides. And they said, they said, and I like to, you know how I like to joke around with uh, spirit guide voices. They go, okay, <laughs> yeah, we no. want to tell you about right and wrong. And I said, yeah, go ahead and tell me. They said, on your planet, there really is no right and no wrong. There is no black and there is no white. There's only what you create. Now, if you choose to do something that is disrespectful, a disrespectful energy, an abusive energy, uh, 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 damaging energy, they said, you're always going to have a consequence for that. So there's always a consequence for energies that are out of balance and there's always a consequence for loving everything without any judgment. So the reality is, is that that you're 
creating what you're creating. And if you choose to go down a path of disrespect for the earth or for the people of the earth, you will pay a consequence for that. I, I can't tell you what it would be. It might be health, health things or, or money. Uh, money might just disappear from your life. So it's, it's hard for people to understand and fathom the karmic concept of right and wrong actually not being accurate, that, that it's, a, it's free will and free choice, and there's a consequence for every action. That's the way it was explained to me, and that makes a lot more sense because right and wrong, when you think about right and wrong, is your right and your wrong the same as everybody else's? Probably not. So who's right then? There really is no such thing as right. There is no such thing as wrong. What there is is a consequence based on the frequency that you're putting out. If you're putting out a loving, integral, authentic, honest frequency out to the world for the benefit of the world, you will you will get the benefit back. If you're putting out an, uh, an energy disguised as dishonorable, disrespectful, uh, you know, damaging, you will pay for that one way or another. It, it will come. It may not come right away, but you'll, it will come. So when you were explaining earlier on that when you, when you go into doing something for yourself uh, in, in a limitless way and you're going to be doing this for the power of your own good, the quantum energy uh, and the law is that universe understands that's what you want. Yep. So when you put bad thoughts or um, unkind thoughts into your equation, that's what universe gives back to you as well. Well, let's just put it this way. Your unkind thoughts and unkind feelings, most times, most people aren't, you know, we'll call them dark by nature. They're these, these thoughts and feelings and emotions that come back to them as, as troublesome or painful are programs you learned as, as a little girl or a little boy from your mm -hmm. parents and from the patriarchal mindset, from your lineage. So most people struggle to succeed with anything, really, because of parental programming through no fault of your parents. Now, we're not judging your parents. It's just what's been passed on from generation to generation to generation. This is not a DNA thing. This is an informational thing, a belief system. So you come into this planet and you download their DNA information. And then you start expanding into the world and learning all the other things, all the other control mechanisms that are on this planet, the, the media, the religion, the politics, the economy, you know, the military. The list goes on and the education system. The list goes on and on and on of all the crap that we have downloaded into us that keeps us in a very small place. And when we let go of all of that, your world changes dramatically. When you decide that all the rules that you have followed, you don't follow them anymore, but you're still, you know, still going to do the right thing. You can make a rule book, a new rule book. We'll call it Susan's new rule book. And you get to look at all the rules that you're aware of. You follow now, and you can rewrite those rules with the self-loves in them. You can write the re-roll of, um, I'm not a religious person. I'm, I'm a person who believes in, 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 in fairness and love and equity, um, respect and honor for everything that exists, the planet, the earth, the people of the earth. doesn't matter what your religion is, what your politics is, what your color of your skin is, whether you're gay or not gay. We don't care. We love you, love you, love you. That changes everything. So that's how you change your frequency when you shift and change your rules that you follow. And you can make new rules. And remember, I think I told you, I like always like to give you the first rule of your new book. And the first rule of Susan's new book is Susan makes the rules. And that's the first rule of everybody's new book when you're rewriting the rules on what you think you have to follow and you're going to let go of. That's fascinating. Rocky, this is the art of forgiveness. The first person you forgive is yourself. And then once you have the ability to do that, you learn to love yourself. When you learn to love you and forgive yourself, you learn to love and forgive. Even when you've been in a situation of abuse, unkindness, um, tied up with narcissists or any of the other things that people sort of throw in this modern day age because there's so many names for all the different types of um, personality and situations that we, 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 we come from. And that is where you say, new page, new book, 
become a different person. And that, and then you walk through, like Mother Teresa always, always said, you walk through with forgiveness and love. And when you have that, you can do anything that's limitless. When you're, um, you're, you, you've woken your mind magic as well, you have the ability to understand. And this is what I've, I've learned from you as well. You have the ability to understand that no matter what's happened to you, it was, it was, it was divinely chosen by you before you were birthed into this world at this time to be able to experience those experiences so that you can get to where you are now in the now to learn to develop your healing abilities, your, your abilities and capacity for this massive unconditional love of yourself. Yes, but, <laughs> but the journey is the challenge. And this is where everybody plays the, the monkey with the hands over the eyes, the hands over the ears, and the hands over the mouth. Everybody's looking for a pill to skip that part called investment in your own inner healing. Everybody wants to go to a course from some famous guy out there and spend a weekend there and spend $5,000 going through a course and boom, you're fixed. Eh, not going to happen. It doesn't happen <laughs> that way. No, so I'm, I, I'm here to tell everybody that your karmic agreement in your personal life has always been and always will be. It's up to you to show up to do the authentic work. You have to let go of your own shadows. Otherwise, your frequency will remain the same and your results in your life will remain the same. I don't care how much training you get. I don't care how much you think you know. Uh, it's not going to change. And, you know, we got lifetimes of evidence to show that. So I'm saying to people, it's time to take a look at how quantum emotional healing fits into the mold that allows you to gently and lovingly and safely begin to release the layers of unworthiness, fear, and limitation in your belief systems that will allow you to start living the life that you want. Because it's impossible to not create a better life when your frequency is higher. So you're raising your frequency by letting go of what you don't want. You're inputting or downloading new programming called I am worthy of love. I am worthy of being heard. I am worthy of being supported. I am worthy of being seen. I am worthy of being acknowledged. And I definitely, definitely, definitely block all unconditional love, including, if need be, my mother, my father, and my family. Now, family is the number one troublemaking that's that's a gentle word i'll use for uh for 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 fa family members families can create the most disturbance and illness in you stress and trouble because we think we owe family this um we owe them our bodies and our energy and our our love despite the fact that we're getting dumped on left right and center so it's impossible to move ahead unless you're willing to become really so authentic, so grounded, so real, so honest, that whatever is coming into your body that is not of, a, of an unconditional love, you give yourself permission to block it no matter who it is, and you turn around and you down, start downloading new programs into you called I am worthy of blah, 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 blah. That's so true. I mean, in regards to family, <laughs> you can love them, but you don't have to like them. And you don't have to be um, manipulated into being the person that's um, to blame or to fix things or anything else, because that is what happens with families very, very often. The other thing is we live in this world of self-gratification where things happen so quickly. And so like you were saying earlier on, we we believe that to pay out good good hard hardly earned cash or crypto or whatever it is that we 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 do these days <laughs> we we think that that's you pay for a course and like you say four days you're meant to be oh yay this is all good and i'm going to go away a new person and you don't you feel fine for a while it's like putting a big bandaid on a boil and thinking that boil's going to go away. Yeah. But it's there festering underneath the Band-Aid. Right. So, 
um, this is another thing that I've, I, you know, when I'm coaching myself and you are a coach and mentor and ins- inspiration and leader, a Rocky, so, so we, we can resonate with this. But when I'm, when I'm saying to people, no matter how many of these little mini programs or any of these other things that you, you think that you can purchase, that's this, that's a total shiny ball syndrome where you're not focusing on yourself. You're looking for something that's that's going to make you better or it's it's taking away from the fact that you have this ability for self-development you're right we call it looking outside of ourselves for someone else to fix me another term for that is called the medical system the medical mindset we don't want to do the work we don't want to feel the feelings we don't want to release the painful feelings from the past we don't want to do that. We want to take a pill. So a pill can be an addiction. It can be, you know, going for a weekend course or going to see a famous person and, and think, wow, I'm going to go to this course. I'm going to be, I'm going to be this, this healed person. Unfortunately, that is so not true. So I'm welcoming people to an authentic, real, genuine, safe spot where you can begin the journey in earnest and start truly releasing the old dark programs from your programming, from your inner child, from your past lives, from from uh, experiences you've had as a, as a young adult and, and, and an adult late going on, from your parents, from the patriarchal mindset. All of this stuff has to be filtered out in order for you to raise your vibration. There's no other way. There just is no other way. And so I welcome people to take a look at what I'm doing here because I have a long history of evidence, of proving that when you do this kind of work, you genuinely shift and change your reality. I've got hundreds and hundreds of people who have done this, and I welcome women especially to let go of the number one, what I call the number one insidious pain-creating program that, as far as I know, every woman has. And that program is called, as women, I give my love away to everyone in the hopes that I'll get a teensy, weensy, weensy, weensy little bit back. And then I ask, so right. I, I <laughs> yeah. ask women, I ask women, I just say, what is your return on your investment? And most women go, eh, zero. And I just go, isn't that the craziest uh, core belief program ever devised? And yet every woman seems to buy into that. But it's hard to let go of, too, because you're so familiar with it. But I'm welcoming women to a new space where you do something really unfamiliar instead of, you know, instead of giving a love away to person one, person two, person 6,203, persons 595, and you're way at the end of the list and you rarely get to you at the end of the list. I'm asking women to take themselves and put themselves first to love themselves first, to take care of themselves first, to take care of what they need first. Now, something happens when you take care of self first. What happens is, is you keep the love that you're giving away in your body um, for self. Now, if you keep the love for your own wellness and self, what happens? Well, at the end of the day, most women are so busy giving away their love to everybody the first thing that happens is they get exhausted and they're tired and they're frustrated and they're not heard and they're not supported and they're frustrated and they get more frustrated and they get stressful and then they get what men call bitchy. But that's not bitchy, is it? Not really. What is it? It's frustrated. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Rocky. It's it's um, because you. I think many women um, have been conditioned from childhood and through their mothers. It's it's a conditioning, um, and their dads. But it's uh, where they start saying, "You're a woman. You must do this. You must do the. You must sweep the room. You must um, take daddy's slippers, not the brother, because he's sitting over there." I mean, this is this is sort of a worldwide type thing. <laughs> I didn't mind taking my daddy's slippers. <laughs> <laughs> he was a good dad. Anyway, but the, 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 where, where we work on this, where it's a conditioning, I can remember my mom telling me that um, I, I had to always look perfectly beautiful. My children had to be in bed by 7 o'clock because otherwise my husband wouldn't love me. Uh, that was my first husband. It didn't last for long. <laughs> no. 
Because how do you look after two kids and look beautiful at five no. o'clock when the husband walks in the door? No, it's no, it, it's, it's it's an illusion. It's 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 the uh, Aussie and Harriet illusion from America from the fifties. <laughs> That that show where where you know the the man came home from work and the woman looked absolutely perfect and then she brought her brought the pipe and the slippers to her husband. Her husband <laughs> sat down in the chair, and then she came over and gave him a little kiss on the cheek and said, "I've got your dinner ready for you, dear." And she hops like a bunny into the kitchen. <laughs> uh, it's so it's so preposterously ridiculous. Oh, so dear. so it's time for women to seek their own equality, not legislate equality, because that's not ever going to really happen, because women are going to evolve into an equal position long before legislation ever comes. That's what's happening now. Right now in 2020, women are waking up in such large numbers to the fact that they don't, that many of them are saying, I just don't need a man anymore because there's no man who can even hear me, no man who wants to do the work to raise their frequency with me, to love me at the level I demand to be loved at. So women are doing the work. And of course, women have been leading the way in the spiritual movement since, well, ever really. But, you know, since the 50s, when we went through a, a giant a transformational change on this planet with you know, the advent of the hippies and, and people saying no to war, and, yeah. and it's carried on for all this time. But women have been leaders in this 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 regard, and uh, the time has come now for women to really solidify the goddess energy. I hear you there. But there's one thing that I would like to be able to say is some of the women's movements are so volatile and aggressive and, and an anarchist that it's scary, and that type of movement for me is – not the divine feminine. No. It's this aggressive um, choice because they possibly were raped, abused or something, um, and and there's this anger factor. That is that is something that, that I feel is where the art of forgiveness and, and self-love really is lacking in some of those movements. You hit it, the nail on the head. Now, I'm going to say this, so I want everyone listening to hear this very, very clearly. The law of attraction never lies. It's always accurate. If you're angry at men, and the women's movement, certainly where I live, the entire area I live in, 3 million people, all the different women's groups, they're all angry as hell at men. They say, no, we're not angry at men. I guarantee you they're angry as hell at men. My daughter worked in the industry for a long time, and there is a man hatred thing going on. Now, let me tell you what happens when you hate men. Now, I'm not saying that they don't have a right to be angry at men. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is when you're angry at men, the law of attraction says so be it that you're angry at men. You will attract more reasons to be angry at men until you learn to let that go and forgive your abuser, forgive yourself for believing that you were worthy of being abused or that you were to be shamed because of the abuse. You did nothing wrong. Now, there's a lot of factors that go into this, and that's why healing is so important. We have to separate all this, and we have to do the individual work on each layer of unworthiness, shame, and guilt. And it's not anger. Anger and legislation will never, ever change it. And in fact, I'll say this. When the anger and, and, and all this, these negative energies continue, what you're really doing is you're putting more of that energy into the mass conscious energy of the planet, which continues to perpetuate violence against women, violence against children, war on this planet, and nothing ever heals. So I'm welcoming every single person listening to this thing today to choose inner peace, to choose to love everything, to choose to begin. Now, forgiving someone is not something, oh, I just forgive you. It doesn't work that way. It's a release process. I'll call it layer upon layer upon layer of forgiveness. And, and it takes time because you can't just forgive somebody. If you've been raped or sexually molested, um, you don't just forgive them. You have to work on forgiving them layer by layer by layer. And, and then when you finally reach that place, you have reached a, a new frequency where you can launch into the power goddess without this 
this 5,000 pound stone with a noose hanging around your neck, dragging behind you. It's, it's too hard. It's too hard a job. So it, it's time to absolutely go ahead, dear. You know, Rocky, this is another thing is where we were talking about the, the anger aggression. It then actually consequently, um, uh, it, it emasculates men as well, the good ones. And, Therefore, you end up with the you you have this aggressiveness, and the aggressors are are there because that's the energy that you're attracting. Not only are you doing that with your children, and you've got little boy children and little girl children, and you're showing them this type of um, energy. That's what they think is right. And so that's at some lineage. stage, yeah, total lineage. And this at some stage, it's got to be it's got to be stopped. And this is where you come in, and and now that I'm I'm fully tra- trained as an energetics healer by 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 you, and and my awareness is that I have the ability to do it. That uh, as an empath, I have the power to do this. The the one thing that I do know for sure is when I came to you, you came in and you said, right, we are going to do a certain series of sessions, and this is what we're going to work on, and this is how we're going to get you to where you are strong enough to be able to go out there with confidence to help other women and men because I, I've chosen to do both. Um, and the reason is because um, they're, they're the ones that come to me, especially suicide pe- people who've had suicide in their lives and things like that. I've attracted more and more of those. And the, that is law of attraction as well. Those people come because they need to be with certain personalities. The people that come to you, it's never through default, Rocky, is it? Never. They come never. to you because you, you're guided into the direction of that healer, and that healer is divinely there for you. How many sessions do you initially start off with when, when you are working with somebody that not who wants to train, um, we can talk about that later, but somebody who – comes to you to get rid of that aggression, to get rid of that um, hurt, um, that small inner child who was confused at the age of six and was in a dark room and some aggressor kept on coming in and you didn't know what was going on. How do you work on that, Rocky? Well, the first thing I do is I invite them in to do a free one-hour complimentary healing session with me. And the reason I do that is because my modality is one that I've created myself and absolutely nobody knows about it. Nobody even knows what I do until they experience my work. Notice I said experience my work because you're never going to logically understand what I do because it's just too too much into the um, the quantum divine science, and it's just too hard to understand. So I don't invite people to try and understand what I do. I invite them to surrender to their the power of being at peace and of being um, free of their pain and suffering. And uh, that's something I do very well. But normally, um, I'll do a package of eight sessions, eight one-hour sessions, And sometimes I extend that to 10, depending on the severity of the anxiety or the trauma or whatever, and and if we need to do more work. Rarely does a client go past that because they're usually feeling so good after that. They usually step out into the world and carry on in, in a much different direction. I have had some clients come back to me two or three years later and say, you know, I've I've kind of slipped a little bit, you know, and I'd like to just uh, reboot again. And, and um, you know, um, I'm doing okay now, but um, I'd like to get even better. So they'll say I've, I've realized, uh, you know, a couple of, um, you know, um, uh, painful programs are still, you know, kind of hanging out for a while. So I invite them for uh, eight sessions at, or, or, like I say, a maximum of 10. And if they want to do more after that, that's fine. But um, generally, you're doing pretty darn good at that point. You usually have a toolkit with you as well that you can take with you. So you've got all this work that you've done, and you've got now a toolkit that will help you maintain your frequency at this new frequency of self-worth and self-love. So that's that's kind of like what I do for um, 
a quantum emotional. I was just going to say, I was going to ask you to explain toolkits because they might think they're going away with a little box of tricks. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's well, a, it's a mental one, isn't it? Yeah, a toolkit is a number of uh, actions, affirmations, not affirmations, intentions. Um, Reminders, I, I like to call them, you know, sort of metaphoric reminders. Awareness tools is the best way to describe. Awareness tools that will allow you to stop an old program from kicking back in again because you'll feel it right away. The problem with humanity is, as we've all been taught, how not to feel, how to run away from feeling. That's a medical mindset again. And once you allow your body to feel and you let your body thermometer feel everything, you're able to decipher everything well before in advance of it happening. And so your your awareness and your body thermometer, I call it, are clues to you know, like a migraine heading starting again. And once you once you catch it right away, um, I've got lots of uh, clients who've had migraine headaches and um, and they heal them and then they take this toolkit with them. And if they ever decide to come back again, they can stop them and release them right away. That's the best example I can give of toolkit. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, yeah. Rocky, you know, we, we touched on this earlier. You are a coach and mentor and, and an inspirational leader and speaker. Can you tell us more ab about this? Um, yeah, well, basically, um, I'm looking for great uh, for opportunities to get out to the world to speak about this. And I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll go anywhere to speak because um, I really love talking about this. Um, I have two books that I give away for free, e-books that I, that I wrote that I give away for free. Um, I welcome anybody to do healing work with me. Um, they can get a hold of me through the contact information I'll give in a sec. But also, um, I'm also training new students because there's only three of us on the planet right now. And um, I would like to train dozens more. So I'm welcoming people to inquire about an eight-month course that I provide that will teach you way beyond traditional spiritual energy healing. This is way beyond that. This is this is getting to the core of reality creation, the nature of reality, and you'll understand it. You'll be able to help people connect to it, and you'll be able to help people effectively and efficiently heal painful conditions and help them move into a positive inner peace and happiness in their life. Isn't it, uh, isn't it uh, fabulous to know that a long time ago, the, um, the, the grandmaster, Jesus, was an emotional healer. He understood the law and he could, he could do this and um, his disciples learned from him. And this is an ancient way of dealing with people um, homeopathically and through a way without modern medicine. And it's not to say that there are some medicines and, and doctors that we, we disregard. Absolutely not. However, if you can actually go this route before you have to go to, through the, the, the route of modern medicine, this is, this is the way to go. And also that you have this incredible ability to be able to train people to do this wonderful work. Now, you did mention about you, you write, you've written two books. The one that fascinates me, because you work mainly with women, um, is Men, Sex, and Food, Why Hearing a Woman Can Lead to a Deeper Love. So how does that work? I mean, and also, how does a man, a lovely man like you, and an absolute flirt, everybody. I can tell you that right now because he, he does. I, I'm, a <laughs> he <loves> <laughs> I I'm a classic Aries. I'm a classic Aries. That's true. But, I don't deny it. <laughs> bless you. Um, but how does how is it that a man can understand a woman with, and you have the ability to help a man learn to show the deeper love that you will receive and the, recipro the, the reciprocation is um, mirrored back at you. Yeah. Well, the book was designed to teach men primarily the one thing that every man is programmed not to do, and that is listen to a woman fully without ignoring her, without fixing her, and without correcting her. Now, every man listening will go, I have no idea what he's talking about. He's an idiot. 
and I say, read the book. It's, it's, it's a whopping 36 pages. It won't take you an hour. And it's in a language that men understand. Now, it teaches men why and how, logically, Captain Kirk, <laughs> listening, how, why listening to a woman and keeping your mouth shut, putting a sock in your mouth and turning off the fix, correct, or make better, and turning off your program that says, I need to fix her in order to earn love from her. That's what every man is trained to do. I need to fix her so that I can be a man, so I can earn love from her. And every time a man fixes a woman, a woman slowly but surely wants to take a knife out and stab him in the eye. That's what she wants to do. She wants oh, to go goodness. like, uh, you know, well, you know, I'm just, I'm joking, of course. But, um, <laughs> you know, the frustration that builds in women is, is enormous. And it usually leads to disconnect in intimacy. So if you if you men want to um, embrace intimacy with your blessed goddess, I'm telling you the f by far and away the best tool you'll ever learn. It's the most easiest tool you'll ever learn because you can sit there and listen to a woman, and you don't have to say a damn thing, and she will love you for it. The men, sex, and food <laughs> is a cheeky title that came out of a true story of a man who was arguing with his fiance. They were both really good-looking people, and they were planning on getting married. And he came to me one day and said, you know, I, 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 don't, I can't do this arguing shit anymore. And he said, I said, okay, so tell me what's going on. And he said, well, she said this. I said this. She said this. And I said, it doesn't, you know, it sounds like, you know, it sounds like you're not hearing her. And he looked at me like puzzled. And he said, what are you talking about? I told you. She said this. I said this. She said, I said, yeah, you're not hearing her. And he said, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I said, well, if I can tell you a way that you can win her love and that you wouldn't have to say a single thing to fix her or do anything at all, and she would love you for it in ways you couldn't even imagine, would you give it a try? So that story and that process called the Chin and Hand Challenge is in the book. It's free. Anybody who wants it can contact me and I'll send it to you. I promise you. That one, the women who read it will understand men and their thinking and their processes and their core belief training a lot better. And two, this very, very simple exercise called the chin and hand challenge, which is it's 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 kind of comical and fun and 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 and, and uh, gentle, but it will teach men what happens when a woman is fully heard. And what my spirit guides taught me is when a woman is fully heard. She feels valued. She feels supported. She feels loved. And then the men, sex, and food thing is a possibility. Ah, so I'll they, leave get, you. They, get, they don't have to sing for their supper. They don't have to <laughs> sing anymore for their supper. They don't have to sing anymore for other naughty endeavors as well. And that's how men think. That's how men, I'm sorry, that's how men think. Men think, you know, I'm not getting enough sex from my wife. Well, if you shut your face long enough to listen to her, you, you probably get more than you could handle. Oh. So I'm just saying, to, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm speaking men's language. I mean, the men are hearing me now. The men are hearing me that if you put a sock in it and you listen and you don't, you turn off the brain because your brain always wants to go there, you know, like, oh, God, here's the answer. You know, here's the solution. You know, we're, everything's logical. Everything's logical. No, it's not. A woman just needs to be heard. She needs to drain the energy out of her body by being heard. She needs to go through the cycle, and the cycle is in the book. She needs to drain the energy, drain the energy, drain the energy. Then she starts to figure out exactly what she needs to do to fix the problem, and she fixes her own problems. You don't have to do a damn thing, and you get the rewards, men, sex, and food. Got it? Oh, very clever. And, and you got this from your guides? I actually got it from my guides, but I actually uh, – I, <laughs> I, I must have all been men. <laughs> no, no. No, I actually woke up at 3 a.m. in the morning many years ago, and I channeled it. And I, I got out of bed at 3 a.m., and I started writing – I wrote two pages of notes on everything that I just, I just had dreamed slash channeled. And um, it didn't make any sense to me. And in the morning, I put it all together in some kind of order. I walked out the door. And I went and saw every woman I could meet, and I handed them this piece of paper, and I said, do you know any men like this? And they looked at it, and they all read it, and they went, those men don't exist. Every one of them, all 50 of those women said, that man does not exist. And I said, if you could meet a man who could do this, what would you think? And they all said the same thing. 
that man would be a keeper. I was, knew I was onto something then, you know, but, but, you know, I put this book together. It is a very simple, um, it's not a long read. It's an easy book to understand. It's an easy exercise to do, to learn how to listen to a woman, to create the greatest love you could ever imagine as a man. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to rack your damn brains out trying to figure out how to fix this <laughs> damn woman. You can sit there and quietly relax and listen to her and support her and love her. And you will be the big winner. Well, that's wonderful, Rocky. Do do thank Seth and your guides from me um, that 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 they put that um, onto paper with you, um, and I'm sure that there'll be a lot of people wanting to read it now that they've heard us speak about it. Yeah. The other book that you wrote about, and it was published in 2015, um, is Conscious Energy Healing and Miracles. Yes. So, who's that aimed at helping and inspiring? It's helping everyone understand how healing has been an illusion on this planet for the last 200 years, how healing at the cellular level, at the quantum field level, is now a proven science. So I put all of the quantum science in there. It's not technical. It's just the results of the science that refer to wellness and cellular vibration. And it teaches you bit by bit by bit all of the wisdom we just talked about today on how to heal your own body and how to let go of painful programs that are responsible, 100% responsible for creating the reality that you're living now that you feel stuck in. You just wish you could get out of it. I show you how to do that in the book. And um, I also talk a little bit about uh, my story as a child. I also have YouTube videos in the back, lots of them, of world-famous professionals, uh, quantum physicists, scientists, doctors, psychologists, you name it, all of them saying the same thing that emotional information in your subconscious mind is responsible for creating your reality, change the information, change your reality. My specialty is identifying those programs. My specialty is helping you release those programs. And my specialty is helping you reprogram yourself to a higher state of self-love and your world will change, I promise you. Einstein once said, concerning matter, we've been all wrong. What we have called matter is energy whose vibration has been so lowered as to be perceptible to their senses. There is no matter. Our bodies are actually quantum fields of energy at a lower frequency, which is why we appear physical. I can touch myself. I can feel myself. I can even smell myself. And you can only do that with this lower vibration called the physical body. The rest of us is in a much higher vibration. We can see part of it called the aura. That's who we really are. And so our soul goes like, let's go for a journey to hop into this meat suit called the human body. And, uh, and off we go to uh, live and experience all the multiple kind of experiences we have on this planet. We have free will, free choice to do stuff to, to enjoy ourselves, or we can do stuff to be harmful. It's our choice. There's a consequence for every action. There is, uh, you know, when I was a little girl, and I, I've I've taken on your um, your expression of human meat suit. I think it's delightful, and, <laughs> um, and and get a lot of laughs out of it, like like you did with me, and I'm sure other people. But when I was a little girl and hopped into my human meat suit from when I was growing up, I could see auras, and I still can, of course. And um, that's um, that that just brings to mind of of human conditioning, where I would see somebody who had a an aura and it was a certain color and there were areas that were different because they weren't well or something. And I would say that ladies, that color. And my mom would say to me, you are imagining things. She's, she's got a dress with floral flowers on. And, and I'd, I'd say, yes, but she's that color. And, and you get, you get, you get told that you're seeing things and there's something wrong with you. And, and that's where you suddenly start conditioning yourself into saying nothing. Right. Well, you get shut down. You get shut down until you awaken your mind magic uh, like you did. Um, and that was also through um, many things that happened to you as a child. So many of us that have been hurt or um, uh, badly treated or abused become the very powerful healers because of that. So that's all part of our life journey and and 
part of us being able to understand the people that we work with as yeah, well. Absolutely true. And, um, you know, there's, there's, there, you know, I'll say to people when a client comes to me and sits down and says, man, I have a lot of pain or I'm really, my anxiety is so high. I feel like I'm just going to have a heart attack or, or, you know, I'm so stressed out or, or I, or I, I just want to cry all the time or whatever. I'll just say, yeah, I know I've been there. So I'll, let me show yeah. you the way out. So, you know, when you've been there, done that, you one, you have a lot more compassion for somebody when they come through yeah. and they say, and, and if they know you've experienced and they can see now that you're, you know, a really good healer and you, you have compassion and care for them mm. and you provide a loving space for them, it gives them inspirational hope that they can too one day have a peaceful and happy life. And that, that was, that was my goal. And it is, it's a wonderful goal to have. And, and consequently, um, we we coaches or teachers or mentors or healers we get into this field of work through the ability to be able to understand our our client or our our guest or our our subject right <laughs> so this is in th this is where i come in to say um one of your most fascinating healing gifts and we 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 have spoken about this but you have the ability to heal migraine headaches in 15 minutes or less. And most people would not believe that it's possible. So would you be able to tell the listeners more about this incredibly extraordinary gift that you, you have? Well, it is true that I've helped women heal the pain of migraine headaches in about 15 minutes or less on average in the last five years. Before that, it took like 20 to 25 minutes. I've developed my technique to a point now where um, I can release not only migraine headaches, I have many, many stories of uh, injured backs, uh, injured necks, injured hips, injured knees, chronic pain, arthritis, bursitis, that I've been able to help them release in minutes. Now, there's a difference between releasing pain to be pain-free for that moment and teaching them to be pain-free for the rest of their life. That's why I do eight sessions because the core belief programming responsible for creating that pain is still there. So I have a YouTube video of a woman named Donna who I helped her heal, you know, eight to 10 migraine headaches in 10 minutes or less on either by phone or by Zoom or in person here in the Vancouver area. And after she had done this and she'd learned enough about her own abilities to, to understand where the migraines are coming from, she was able to take one of those toolkits that I told you about and the next migraine that tried to show up, she was able to release it and ground it and it never started. So she's been migraine free now for about three years. And this so is fabulous. Yeah, it's, it's possible to let go of pain very, very easily. Um, we have been so heavily indoctrinated with the lies of the medical system the doctors don't even know what pain is. I'm going to tell your listeners right now what pain is. And next time you go and see your doctor, you can take your fingers and do this to them and say, what is pain? What is <laughs> pain? Mister?" <laughs> yeah. What is pain, Mr. Doctor? And he'll give you some cockamamie explanation, which has no basis in reality. Or they'll honestly say, we have no idea what pain is. I'm going to tell you what pain is right now. It's so simple. It is a quantum field with information. That's it. Change the information in the quantum field, the pain goes away because pain is actually an illusion created by the brain and the subconscious mind is running that program through and through again because it's forced to do it through old belief programming. Let go of that old belief, belief programming, let go of that frequency, and the pain simply disappears because it's not even real. It's just an illusion you're creating based on worthy, unworthiness, limitation, and fear. So healing migraines is very, very easy. It, um, it, it's, it's wonderful that it's easy for you to be able to do it because you understand this. And you know also as an electrician as well, Rocky, I'm, I should think it gives you great understanding of the different conduits and things like that and how, how this all works. And, of course, we are all energy, like you say, and we're connected to the major source of energy, which is um, – universal spirit or God, as we uh, many people call it, well, people call it different things, but it's a force power, the major, major, big 2020 computer at the moment that's going on and sorting us all it's, out. It's, and we, it's, we it's all conscious energy. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all conscious energy. It was the explosion. 
The explosion 15 billion years ago exploded out into the space we now call our universe, and it was all conscious energy. It was not rocks. It was not dust. It was all conscious energy. So you and me and everything else, the planets, the trees, the water, we all came from this explosion of conscious energy, not rocks, dust, or anything like that. So when you think about that alone, when you just think about that, there was an explosion and just energy went out. And that's it. Just energy. Everything that we see now came from that energy. Hmm, how is that possible? Hmm, you're trying to tell me that I am an energy field, Rocky? No, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you we've proven that. So when you see yourself in the truth of who you really are, and you let go of all the nonsense that we've been trained and educated in, and all the lies and deception, then you start to gain your power back because you start to understand, well, if I'm an energy field, what does this energy field do to create my reality? Well, it needs information. Energy and information create an outcome. And if that outcome is difficult or challenging or painful, let's change the information because changing the energy like energy healers do does not heal permanently anything. It changes the vibration temporarily, just like the medical system. And I'm and I'm not putting down energy healers. They do a great job. They're very devoted to their cause. I'm just saying we're at a state in the healing world on the timeline of this earth where it's time to start healing everything effectively and efficiently so that everybody can start to live a better life free of the imprisonment of the lies of all the deception out there in the world so that you can start to make your own rules as to how you're going to live your life and live your life independently abundantly and peacefully oh this is so true rocky and especially at the moment i mean there's there's all sorts of things going on in the world and i won't put names to it um because i won't give it that energy no i i believe i believe um totally in what you say and um i'm very grateful for your training now people can contact you for uh, migraines in particular at www migraine or migraine as some people say one mastery.com so that's the www. number one yeah migraine m-i-g-r-a-i-n-e number one so it's one mastery m-a-s-t-e-r-y.com and um really i i highly recommend uh rocky in in not just migraines in many other things so what you do, Rocky, is you um, you also uh, offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to teach students and um, how to become quantum emotional healers. And, right. and you mentioned there's only three at the moment in the entire world. How can anybody who ha has listened to this um, podcast get in contact with you and start off on this wonderful road um, to be able to help other people and help the world as well because it's not just people that you can help it's it's anything to do with nature yes exactly exactly well my website www.migraine the number one mastery.com has a uh, form that you can fill out you can contact me through that or you can just email me directly at stress free me 99 at gmail.com stressfreeme99 at gmail.com if you live in the united states or canada you can call me direct at 604-802-6390 or you can just friend me on facebook at rocky Krogfoss, the member of the all name team k-r-o-g-f-o-s-s -S. as awful as it sounds is actually my name <laughs> I think it's wonderful. I actually put an, I have no idea. It was sort of back to front when I was writing it the other day. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting name. It sounds Norwegian or some Viking it, it is, sort it of is, thing. It's, it is Norwegian. Oh, it there is, you are. That's why you're big Nor and tall. <laughs> yeah. It actually, so, it, actually, it actually means crooked waterfall. Oh, well, that's, I'm serious. Um, crooked that's most waterfall. interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think any waterfalls are straight, are they? Who knows? You know, when, <laughs> when, the, when the Vikings were doing their thing, I, I think they were drunk half the time anyway. So, 
<laughs> Maybe stop. they were standing on one leg. <laughs> no, they, you know, they, they were looking <laughs> at the waterfalls, and yeah, the, the waterfalls are probably going crooked to them. <laughs> oh, how funny. So there is one wonderful gift that you have to give to, um, to the listeners, and that's a free one-hour introductory healing session. Yes. And you've told them how they can contact you. Yes. Um, and I know that a lot of people will be very interested in getting in touch with you, Rocky, and I can yes. recommend that you do because that one-hour introductory healing session is mind-blowing. I can, I can assure you. <laughs> you, 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 you don't come, come prepared not to understand it. Come prepared to surrender your pain and allow yourself the gift of being free of the pain and we'll begin that process. You'll feel and experience it and you'll understand from that feeling and that experience that this is real and you'll be able to feel it and measure it and you'll start to feel lighter almost immediately. And w then you can decide if you want to do more sessions to heal it completely. You can actually contact Rocky on Facebook on uh, um, www.facebook.com slash forward slash be pain free forever and you can find him on www.mixcloud.com discover forward slash rocky crogfoss rocky not only do you help women you do help men as well so i'd like yes. to make this very clear to any male listeners on this call it, it rocky rocky as i said is a is a delightful flirt and he loves working with the divine goddesses <laughs> but i do know that he works <laughs> with the gods as well yeah no i i've talking I've worked, about vikings I, i've worked i've worked with men but you know most men yeah you know, up till this timeline um weren't really capable of doing this kind of work because it involved connecting to their emotional self and it call, it, it it meant getting past that wall called pride and ego I think that men are in a different place nowadays. So I welcome men who are curious about my work and who are serious about doing healing work. I promise you that we'll make great progress um, if you come here ready not to stay in resistance and run and hide and logically understand everything because then we're wasting our time. And they get to read your book. And they get to read my book. <laughs> they get to read yeah, my book. Them. I get to gourmet meals and 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 and, and sizzling sex. So you yes. read read Rocky's book. <laughs> yes, yeah. No. If, if you don't contact me for any other reason, you want to understand how how women how women um, share their love with with great devotion. Uh, one of the ways is to actually listen to a woman, and it's a skill that you will be so glad you learned now, rather than waiting until you're you're. Your, your female partner looks at you one day and says, that's it, I can't handle you more, get out of here. Oh, dear Cause, me. Because that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens. Oh, we can't have that. You no. better all go to Rocky, boys, I think, any yeah. of you who are listening. Rocky, thank you so much for being with us today. You're My such pleasure. an inspiration. You really are. Thank you. And it, was, it was a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> And of course, anybody who wants to awaken to their true self, awaken to their mind magic, living, living the limitless truth and doing what they love to do every day. I tell you now, as a person who's awoken my own mind, mind magic, go, go find Rocky. He's a really brilliant guy. So thanks, Rocky. Just to wrap up once again, Rocky Krogfoss can be contacted for a free introductory healing session by going to his website and filling out the form. And Rocky will contact you right away. And he does. He's pretty good at that. So <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. goodbye, everyone, and thanks so much for listening. Thank you, everybody. Bye. That's Awaken Your Mind Magic for another week. If anything you've heard today has really impacted you and you want to know more or you would just like to connect with me, then visit my website, awakenyourmindmagic.com and reach out for a free one-on-one -on -one discovery session with me.
next week where I'll be discussing more tools to unlock your dreams and live a limitless life that you would truly love to live. I'm Susan Kathleen and this has been Awaken Your Mind Magic.